highest common factor or HCF. HCF of two or more numbers is the greatest number that can exactly divide each one of the numbers. It is also called as greatest common divider. Suppose we have two numbers, 24 and 42. The factors of 24 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 12 and 24. On the other hand, the factors of 42 are 1, 2, 3, 6, 7, 14, 21, 42. The common factors are 1, 2, 3 and 6. The greatest number that can divide 24 and 42 is 6. So 6 is the highest common factor of 24 and 42. HCF can be calculated using two methods. Prime factorization method and long division method. Let us first understand the prime factorization method. Let us first try to find the prime factorization factors of 15,470. Let us factorize 15,470 using division methods. As we know, after dividing 15,470 by 2, we get 7,735 which is again divided by 5, we get 1547, which can be divided by 7, we get 221. So after dividing this number by 13, we get 17. So as a result, we get the factors of 15,470 are 2 into 5 into 7 into 13 into 17. We will take an example of 72 and 180. The prime factors of 72 are 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 into 3. Similarly, the prime factors of 180 are 2 into 2 into 3 into 3 into 5. Therefore, the highest common factor of 72 and 180 is 2 into 2 into 3 into 3 which is equal to 36. Now let us understand the long division method to find the HCF of two numbers. This method involves repeated division till zero is obtained as the remainder. The last divisor is the HCF of the two given numbers. Let us understand this by finding the HCF of 345 and 506. By long division method, we divide the large number with the small number. On dividing 506 by 345, we get 161 as the remainder. Now we divide 345 by 161. We get 23 as the remainder. We then divide 161 by 23, which gives 0 as the remainder. Hence, 23 is the HCF of 345 and 506. Now let us discuss some of the properties of HCF. Property 1. If A and B are two numbers where A is a factor of B, then A is the HCF of A and B. For example, let there be two numbers, say 12 and 60. We know that 12 is a factor of 60. So the HCF of 12 and 60 is 12. Property 2. If A and B are two co-prime numbers, their HCF is 1. For example, suppose there are two co-prime numbers, say 15 and 56. The factors of 15 are 1, 3, 5 and 15. And the factors of 56 are 1, 2, 4, 7, 8, 14, 28 and 56. So 15 and 56 do not have any common factor except 1. That is, they are co-prime. Therefore, the HCF of 15 and 56 is 1. 
Now let us discuss about least common multiple LCM. The least common multiple of two or more numbers is that smallest number which is exactly divisible by each one of the given numbers. To find out the LCM of 4 and 6, we first find their multiples. That is, the multiples of 4 are 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24 and so on. The multiples of 6 are 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36 and so on. Now the common multiples of 4 and 6 are 12, 24, 36 and so on. Least of these common multiples is 12, so the LCM of 4 and 6 is 12. Let us discuss LCM by prime factorization method. The LCM of the given numbers is the product of all prime factors with greatest powers. For example, let us find the LCM of 12 and 16. Here we have the prime factors of 12 are 2 into 2 into 3 is equal to 2 square into 3. The prime factors of 16 are 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 is equal to 2 raised to the power 4. Here, 2 raised to the power 4 and 3 are the greatest powers of 2 and 3. So, the LCM of 12 and 16 is equal to 2 raised to the power 4 into 3, which gives us 16 into 3, which is equal to 48. Let us find LCM by division method. In this method, we divide by a number which divides exactly at least two of the given numbers and carry forward the numbers which are not divisible. We keep on repeating this process till no two numbers are divided by the same number. The product of the divisor and the undivided numbers is the LCM. Now let us find the LCM of 28, 36, 45 and 60. We start dividing the numbers by 2 since 45 is not divisible by 2 so we carry forward 45 as shown on the screen. We keep on repeating the process. The LCM is 2 into 2 into 3 into 3 into 5 into 7 which is equal to 1260. Some of the properties of LCM are Property 1 LCM of two numbers A and B, where B is a multiple of A is B. Let us understand this with the help of an example. Let there be two numbers where one is a multiple of the other, say 9 and 36. So the LCM of 9 and 36 is equal to 3 into 3 into 4 is equal to 36. Property 2. LCM of two co-prime numbers A and B will be the product of A and B. To understand this, let us take two co-prime numbers, say 4 and 15. So their LCM is 2 into 2 into 3 into 5, which is equal to 60. 